Hi, I'm Dr. Lloyd Lillywhite here uh, talking about Bartonellosis. It's one of those zoonotic diseases that's transmitted between people and animals. You probably say, well, I've never had Bartonellosis. Nobody ever told me I, I had it, and I don't know anyone that's ever had Bartonellosis. However, you may have known someone that had cat, cat, cat scratch fever. Uh, cat scratch fever is caused by this organism, Bartonella henselii. It's transmitted from one uh, uh, cat to people uh, by means of cat scratches or bites if that cat has, in, has been in contact with fleas or a flea infested area. Or the people may get the disease by direct contact with those fleas. A lot of people have had it. Serologic surveys show that about 23% of the people have had this disease. Most of the time we don't know it because it's a very mild infection. However, sometimes more serious complications develop. With cat scratch fever, uh, it is a very painful skin infection and it can involve the lymph nodes. Immunocompromised people and children are at greater risk of serious complications with the, this disease and may have uh, systemic or fatal disease of, uh, of very great importance. We need to prevent Bartonellosis or cat scratch fever and there are ways that we can accomplish that. The primary thing is that we need to provide adequate flea control in cats. This is the most important measure we can take. Immunocompromised people should adopt only cats over two years of age who have been in flea free environments and in good health. These cats should be kept indoors. The reason why uh, they should adopt only cats over two years of age is because by two years of age, cats develop immunity to this disease, so the older cats are not presenting a risk to us. But again, the most important thing we can do is to keep our pets free of fleas. That will help them be healthy. It will help us enjoy their company, and life for all of us will be better. Thank you.